Please welcome our master of ceremonies, Colombian-born comic, actor and writer, Andrew Kennedy. Latinos, we know how to overact. Oversexed, we know about that too. You watch soap operas in English, they're not sexy. Watch novelas en español. People actually get pregnant watching those. There's 44 million Hispanics in this country. By the year 2010, $1.3 trillion in spending money. That is huge. And, and, and this is the change of what the stereotypes of what Latinos, uh, you, you know, are now becoming. And, and it's today that my, my children are attending an Academy for International Global Studies Magnet School in Danbury, Connecticut. My, my six-year-old, fantastic. Six-year-old and four-year-old, and, and they're going to be learning Spanish from a native speaker. You know, Senora Diaz is teaching them how to speak Spanish. No, no more Senora Greenberg teaching American kids that red is rojo. Can you say rojo? <laughs> rojo is red. That's the proper pronunciation. Can you say azul? <laughs> Verde. Verde is green. No, no, it's rojo, verde, azul, por favor, Senora Greenberg. You deserve it, you're here. Thank you, thank you. Now, you've served Nishimba in, in many roles throughout uh, your years of involvement with this organization. And as you look back at, over the many accomplishments, can you point <laughs> out, there are many, it's written in books, I know. People talk about it, maybe people shouldn't talk about them, but, uh, what accomplishment, what one accomplishment stands out as, as being the most important to you? And, you know, it, it is true that in, you know, within the next 20 years, a Latino will be running for president, but right now it's amazing that the two presidential candidates are vying for the Hispanic vote more than ever before. Putting ads in Spanish. Unfortunately, still stereotypical to what the Latino used to be. You know, so they're doing the ads in Spanish that people might not, you know, not fact check, like uh, Barack Obama. Uh, Barack Obama es moreno. <laughs> tu eres moreno. Vota por Barack Obama. And then, uh, <laughs> and then John McCain, of course. Sarah Palin. Caliente, ah, cuchi, cuchi. <laughs> she is the VP and general manager at American Express Merchant Services US. Thank you, Did Andrew. I get that right? Yes, you did. Thank it's you. It's very good this, that I this write This feels like down. a Miss America contest. It is. And <laughs> where is Hungary and what is the capital? <laughs> World peace. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you, um, you, you, well, go ahead. You, you want to just go ahead and, and speak? Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll go right ahead. I won't even ask although, a question. Although Ken Chanel did steal my, oh, yes. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Let's Ken Chanel did Alfresco. steal my speech, so what's, what's left for me? Well, no. Well, you, you, you corrected me earlier today when I said that I thought you were with American Express for 20 years. And you said over 20 years, which is yes, which is good. And I owe American Express over $20,000. So we have that Thank in common. You. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. We'll talk later, right? 14.99%. Can we do better? As long as you, as long as you, just pay your bill on time and you'll I, be okay. I understand <laughs> the ramifications of not paying my bill on time. I promise. You can't judge people by the way they look anymore. I was standing at the Delta Terminal at LaGuardia Airport in New York City at a Pizza Hut, waiting in line with everybody else. And everybody was, was speaking in Spanish behind the counter. And I've been in this country for 20 years, so when I get a chance to speak in Espanol, me gusta. So I said to this woman that had her back to me, me puede dar un pedazo de pepperoni y una botella de agua, por favor. Nobody else could have said that. I said it. All she had to do was turn around and answer the guy that just said that. I don't carry an amp. I don't throw my voice. I'm the guy. She turned around and because I totally didn't look like I could have possibly said it, answered the Indian guy next to me. Because in that split second, she decided he had to have said that. And he was offended. He was like, I don't speak that como te llamas, okay, please. That is, ever since I come to New York, everybody, I not Boricua, okay, not Boricua. Yes, I like to move it, move it, yes. <laughs> 